um, to see if any of the latecomers want to. Okay, we are live. Live, live on the YouTubes. And looks like we've got a couple of people in there. And I see Angie and I see Jonna. Welcome in, ladies. And I think Angie was watching somebody else. Who was doing that? Somebody. Oh, Melanie. Melanie was going to watch someone else. That's right. Over in the Discord, we got Cassie, and we got Angie, and we got Lee, and we got Marion, who's, quite frankly, only miles from us right now. I can feel the presence. That's cool. And then we got Carrie, and then we got me, and we got Wanda over in New Jersey. Hello, so Jennifer. Welcome in, welcome in, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And then we got, uh, yeah, Marion's there in, now over in the YouTubes, and we got Jennifer Wigan. Fantastic. So... I was thinking I'm going to have a great weekend. I'm probably going to almost get ahead or almost get even kind of thing. Never get ahead. And then Carrie had this live on Wednesday, and that blew that for about two weeks. So <laughs> we're going to be a minute before we get caught up. And you actually turned your resin pen. Oh, yeah. The uh, dots, the uh, your drill drilling. sergeant. Yeah, drill sergeant. See what I did there? Yeah, isn't it? He finally got it figured out where the drill the drills will float in the resin. Yeah. That was pretty cool. So we got Madam Denise's pen starting off. The heck! I don't know what dug into my my finger there. All right, I'm gonna let me get my headphones rigged up here. So yeah, we're gonna go live today. Gonna to do a lot tomorrow. Gonna to do a lot on Sunday. And then, Who knows what we will do, and because I, we might have a surprise on Sunday because it's Easter. We will? The bunny we, might do something. Well, I didn't know we had a bunny. Well, wow. <sighs> girl. <laughs> That's right. I'm staying out of that one. Coco, you are being such a good girl. Who? Welcome in Scorpio Moon, and Marion's getting on Carl's computer. Somebody's being a good girl. I don't know who it is. It's not me. I'm muted. We're real. All right, let me get my. Uh, not here. Here. Oh, all right, so that's all. Let me get damage. Over to no, this I'm not saying anything. Audio. I'm muted. Didn't tell it. And voice and video speakers. Okay, uh, can I hear anybody in Discord? Ah, oh, there we go. Nice. All right, that all works. Oh, we, we've got uh, Marilyn, 1973 over there. Cindy has joined us. And I think we got everybody that accounted for there in the Discord world. Over, oh, you can do your thing. I was going to say over in, over in YouTube, but you go, Lee. That's your deal. <laughs> I think we got everybody as far as YouTube goes, except, uh, you know, I think we said hello to Jennifer anyway. Scorpio Moon, you already said hello. And Marion, you already said hello. Inviting them into uh, Discord all that time. And how are things in Arkansas? Who's in Arkansas? Arkansas? Scorpio Moon's in Arkansas. Hey, Scorpio. Is that Audrey or is that someone else in over there? It's Tony. T O N I. Oh. T O N I. That's what she said. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I wonder which one. But as as Tim made mention to, for those of you that are not in Discord, it is Tim. It is uh, pinned at the top of the chat. Just feel free to join us in Discord if you don't know how it operates. I will walk you through it. Real simple. Once you get there. And then you can hear the rest of us. Then you can hear the rest of us going, yeah, 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 yeah. And you can hear the girls throwing me under the bus. 
What do you mean that's the fun part? It's not nice to throw me under the bus and you stop smiling over there. I see you over there playing with your phone, smiling, going, uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> Go, Lenore. <laughs> Pretty soon, we're going to have to sit together and, and go through this whole thing. You know that, right? You and I, yes. You're going to have to come over here and be part of the co-hosting team. Oh, By the think... way, everybody out there in the YouTube and Discord world, just in case you haven't seen these, these uh, comments in the Discord world, Lenore has had some spots back from the Testing, I guess it is. I don't know if I'm not sure. I'm sorry, I can't you can, quite hear you. You can tell me. everyone. I'll get away from the thing. Go ahead and make your announcement, Lee, about Lenore's good news because not everybody sees Discord. Oh, yes. Finally, she went for her bio, um, not her biopsy. She went for her iron infusion the other day. And while we were there, we were talking to the nurse saying we needed to talk to the doctor because she hasn't gotten a report. And the nurse handed her the paper, showed it to her, and said, your report has come back, your biopsy has come back negative. So she does not, she does not have a recurrence of breast cancer. And that is a fabulous thing. Yep. That's at least one load off, right? Lee? Yes, one load it off. is. It is one of the two or three loads off that we have. Yep. <coughs> yeah, well. Well, especially that kind of load. That particular kind of load, yeah. I mean, we still got a couple of other things, but, you know. Yep. They'll work well, you can, you can watch eventually. Lee's channel and get, get all the super specified updates there. I don't want to steal thunder from his channel there. John SN's hearts. Amelia says, wonderful news, Lee and Lenore. And I'm translating this to Lenore just so that you're aware. Um, everybody else is saying that's wonderful news, great news. I'm not going to go by names because there's too many people on there to say <laughs> over the names. Uh, they are sending hugs and, you know, they're still keeping positive thoughts and prayers. But she says, thank you to everybody. And if you haven't seen Lenore's performance on the Uncrafty Crafter, or is it the Crafty Uncrafter? I can't <laughs> but um, uh, she, she sang an old torch song. I mean, this thing is like, I think it's had about seven or eight covers on it, but it's Teach Me Tonight. And Teach Me Tonight is from what? Yeah, super, how... yeah, super sexy, sultry kind of song. Cool. Yeah, right it's around 1950. Nice yeah, or, 54, you know, 50, I think, is when that one lady you know. came out. Yeah, but uh, it's been covered a number of times because it's just a great song. And to, just to plug Lenore for a minute, she's also going to be on next Thursday singing What a Wonderful World. Nice. On Jenny's Life, on The Uncrafty Crafter. I don't know. She's going to become a legend in my mind, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> what she's saying she said <laughs> she, she heard i laughed and she said all right what's he saying <laughs> she he says she, that you you're going to become a legend in his mind in his mind yes I meant to put it in the Discord and I forgot to. Yep. Yep. Well, apparently. So, so this is uh, Madam Denise's pen. It is the Everest. And you'll notice it's a little chunkier than all the typical pens. When somebody gets a. Uh, a chunkier finger ribbon. He's got about 0.7 inches. Which is on the chunkier. 
then I have to resize or not unsize the whole pen. You got to make it sort of a portion. So if I made this center area small, as you would see, push five five pen, it was really so we just readjust it to give it some girth. In there. So these both ends here are 0.71 baseball bat ends. And then this is called the handlebar. This one is done. And I think Denise was around somewhere. She saw when I was going to go live. So she <laughs> Hello, Caroline. Hey, Caroline. And Berta. Hello, Berta. Well, you know, you know, Bert is going to look at that pen and say it's ugly, right? Of course. It doesn't matter. This will still be ugly. Your, your, your pen is spitting at the screen again, at the camera. Yeah. Again. That's a tendency to do that. Hello, all. There's the golf clap. Somebody must have got a hole in one. That was probably Berta. Or just made a butt. Do we teach Berta the magical controls? I think so. She's smart, that Berta. Catch it right on the Doesn't matter. She's just teasing us. Yep. Teasing us with a clap. Yep. So yep. Oh my goodness, here we go. Oh, she's still limping. Cassie? Yeah, if, if you go all the way, what, what are you on your computer? On your, on your, underneath where all our names are on the far right is the speaker that has, it looks like it's pushing things out. Yeah. I, and I have a message. I have a message. Please tell Tim and everyone that I'm at my niece's drama play this evening. If I get home before the live ends, I'll definitely be there. Have fun. I miss you guys. That's from Tammy. Who's that? Oh, hey, Tammy. What you're doing is more important, Tammy, and we will be here for a while. So she sent me a she sent me a private message to have me tell you. So cool. Monday. You're not going anywhere. I am going to smoke a ham and a couple of chickens on the grill. And dispatch cock a couple of chickens, smoke up a ham. It's going to be really good. Yeah, you know it. I mean, it's going to be 70 degrees, so I'll have the garage, I'll have the shop door open, the garage door open, and uh, the grill sitting right there, just wheel it out and fire it up. Pellet fired, so very little maintenance off the computer controls. So can't go wrong with that. Can't get back to that. Yeah, it's sticking windy here in Oklahoma City. My goodness. All weekend, 22 mile an hour, 22 mile an hour sustained wind, gust to 35. Crazy. So Carrie, Carrie went to the doctor this morning, and she had 
pin removed from her. Flipping the middle finger toe, and, uh, or the second toe, and she now was given permission to, you are graduated, take off. So she has taken off her boot, wandering around the house, and uh, sort of figured out that she was uh, an inch higher on one side for eight weeks, and she was off the ground and getting readjusted to normalcy. Hopefully in a couple of days she'll be turning. Woo, look at that. How slippery is that without the boot? Your foot, your leg. How slippery is that without the boot? Yeah. She's got slippers on. Hey, Tim, Yo. when you change the camera view, you also minimize your your view. So you're up in the upper left hand oh, corner. That's because I changed up the next. There you go. Here's a shipping station. Hopefully, Marion and Carl are down for some donuts and coffee or chocolate milk in the morning. It's a pretty fantastic donut shop in Yukon, where she is right now. And this donut shop makes a donut called the Crow Nut. It's a mixture between a. It's a mixture between a. Anyway, the cronut is a mixture between croissant and donut. They are one flaky, good bunch of deliciousness. Yeah, after you're done buffing, you may want to check your uh, mic input, too. It's probably deadened because I'm by the mic and the mic is loud. Okay, because you sound like you're a little bit distant from it, so that's why I, that's why I was saying. Look at that. That came out beautiful. Yeah. Let me check my mic, however. Let me go to StreamYard. Just to be safe, you know. Settings and go to audio. And I've got the wireless go to RX. Does it change any? Any better? No, not really. How about this one here? That's a little bit better. Yeah, there's a couple of couple of different selections there for the wire. Let's go. All right. That should be better. All right. Here we go with something nobody has seen turned yet. Well, you want to change your camera angle while you're at it. Yep. We'll be there in just a second. Yeah. I, know, I knew I missed something. I didn't hear the bang, bang of his head. What do we miss? Whose picture? Oh, you my camera's face? my camera's broke. <laughs> he broke it. I had it. I had it on too long at Jenny's live, and I broke the camera. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> oh, I gotta go. Gotta go clear the gullet of the. 
Ouch. So that means so that means that's about three molds worth. No, no, he's she's talking about what's on the what's on the lathe. So in other words, take your time turning it and give them some more suspense. That's it. It's just too decent. Take a breath, care. Gosh. At least one. Just, you know, every 20 seconds. <laughs> somebody, else, somebody else may want to jump in there. See, I understand. That's, that's when I just talk right over her, so. <laughs> Uh
What are you talking about? I think I think he was talking to him. Oh, oh, is that well already? It's just it's just a temporary setback. You'll get back to normal. And this is really close to a galaxy. Yeah, one of the things we'll have to get better at is getting ahead of the events. Usually the events like three weeks away and everybody's getting events in the country. Time to get to that end. The event has started. It's growing. As opposed to being carried out on a stretcher. Yeah, you can only look at chicken for so long. Yeah, you gotta eat it after a while. That's right. <laughs> Extra crispy for me, baby. Yeah, that might be a little too slippery to walk on. Hey, Cindy. It's a Cindy Hello. Bennett. Yeah. Maybe she's back. Uh, well, I've had... Nothing. I was saying, hello, Cindy Bennett, and they said, you've been here, and I, and I was just sitting there thinking I had a few distractions, and I didn't get a chance to look at Discord recently.
I was actually inspired to make chocolate chip cookies, but this came out instead. There you go. Ooh. Is that the is that the fork smashed one? Oh, I love those kind. That'll work too. Nice pattern. With whipped cream, swirled with whipped cream. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. is that the Carolina blue? I didn't even think of that. Yeah, Tar Heel blue. Yeah. Is that Tar Heel blue care? I'm a fan of whoever wins. Go, dude. I, I'm, See, a, I I'm a I'm a care less one way or the other. Well, they, they, and they think just the opposite. <laughs> you poor Duke fan. We still love you. Don't worry. so funny. You have one pen. Oh, Man. oh now she's now she's getting demanding with her one pen. <laughs> Just just send her a 40 ounce bag. It... Oh. There you go. I was gonna. There you go. No. See, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to go to the cheap candy care. They're just loving the Werther's too much. <laughs> there you go. like we're delivering crack or something what what she's gonna have to do is buy one of those popcorn hoppers you know that you see in the in the packing places so she can turn around and hit a lever and the and it comes down out of the chute just you know? dump orders in the box yeah just, just fill it up <laughs> <laughs> yeah. see that so, so, that, so, so what you're saying it. is skip the bubble wrap and just use Werther's for packing material. Right, for packing. You know. There you go. I got you, Lee. Good idea. All, all pens are now $100 each. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not for the pen. It's for the packing material.
Okay, here we go. First Pegasus being seen turned by the world. Oh, yeah. Man, if that don't look like a galaxy, I don't know what does. And, and there's well, a lot of ask, clear, a lot of clear not, right in here. I'm not going to ask Berta for her opinion because we all know what that's going to be. Yeah. Yep. Is it is it mine? Is it yeah, mine? Carrie, then it's ugly. Carrie, I really mine. like the clear with all those glitters in it. That looks cool. Hey, hey, Marion finally got her computer to work. Nice. Hello, Ms. Nikki. Hello, Ms. Nikki. Caroline, Caroline, all I can say is sell more chicken. That's because it's different. <laughs> it's what I do. That's what I do. Every, every day. I don't sleep at night. Hello, Pauline. What you doing, Tim? Drilling. Okay. I was just checking. What was that? I'm sorry. Uh, today it was actually gorgeous. Right now it's 65 and dark. <laughs> No, it is 71. It's just the wind makes it feel like 62. Yeah, that's why I usually go by the, the temperature and then the feels like. Yeah. Pauline says she can't hear Discord. 
This is no, this no, no, no. This is a cocoon blank, and I and I don't. Gosh, Almighty! She did, Muni made does not make blanks. This is a cocoon blank that is going to Muni. Well, it doesn't the show that you're is, muted in Discord, Marion, so I have no idea what's going on. I know you're in it, but I don't know why you can't hear out of it. The problem with this particular pen right here is that... Yeah, See, everybody's saying problem. try restarting. Everybody's saying try restarting Discord, Marion. Oh, she already did that. This is rounded, rounded ends 0 0.71. Hey, Carrie, on these on these cocoon blanks, you have to measure before people get a 0.71. I'm starting at a 0.8, which means there'll be almost no no curve. Well, that's 0.71. It's pretty exact. That's the major number. Well, that's a whole lot different than point seven. Whole lot different. Like this one here is a point seven five already. Almost got a it's just because the cocoon blanks start out smaller than our one inch. That's point seven two there. Yeah. So sanding will take that kind of thing. It's just a very slight bump on the end because cocoons, I think they start out like a point eight three or something like that. So that's that's only that's only twelve hundredths to a point seven one. Well, we just it, it it's so let's let's not get off track. The the what you don't get is the big fat bump on the end. Like if you wanted to do this one in a baseball bat, then it wouldn't look like much of a baseball bat. It would look like a little lip, like a like an elephant's foot more than anything. more than more than more than a baseball bat that you would normally see with the big lip, kind of, like kind of lip you like. So it's still doable, it just doesn't, it just looks visually speaking. This is a freaking gorgeous one. Am I, am I doing these am I doing these backwards or something? Why would a blanket somebody bought on Wednesday?
Artist choice, no mentos. Like Denise, see photo. So, is it artist choice or is it this turnstile? So, you can tell how a fellow like me could get confused. <laughs> What'd you get me? What'd you get me? Treat for dinner. That's what I'm working on right there. No, I'm not even I'm not even halfway done. With where the bridge is right there, that's I'm I'm from those release papers up I have still yet to do. I can only work on my diamond painting unfortunately one day a week because my back will not let me go any longer than that. Um but it's uh hold on a second, I gotta get the name of it again. It is an Oraloa, but I'm trying to think of the name of the actual. So have I. Angel Falls. Angel Falls by Dennis Luan. This is the uh, thumbnail. Wait a minute. Let me see if I can't get it. This one's about this one's about two and a half years old, maybe a little bit more, and I've had no problems with the glue. It's a little bit of spacing. It's a square, so there's a little bit of gapping, but nothing major. You can't really tell when you when you take the light pad off of it, but um, but it's been absolutely fantastic to work on. It's not Oral Arms, it's craftably. 
Yep, they're no longer around. And I think Percy Jackson is Percy's name because Perse... I'm saying Percy Jackson is Percy Jackson because he's Perseus, which is the other son of Poseidon. Pegasus's brother. And that's all I know. I never watched the show. I don't know anything else. That's all I know. <laughs> no, Pauline, I mean, you're not the only one. Um, Marion said she can't hear Discord, and she's even in Discord and can't hear it. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I may know why. Wait a minute. I think maybe we turned that off, didn't we? No, yeah. I don't think we did because when I first came on, when I was when I was not in Discord fully, I could hear everybody. When I wasn't in the channel, I could hear everybody in Discord through YouTube. Somebody talk in Discord now. All right. So now can YouTube hear Discord? That's the question. All right. Did you guys all hear that cacophony of voices in Discord from YouTube? That was that was back. No, Pauline says no. Okay, try and now. Connie says very faint. Speak now or forever Shh. hold your speak your peace, Discord. Uh-oh. 
Is it paused? Fire up paint. Well, the reason yeah. you could watch YouTube through Discord is because uh, Cassie or CM Luna is actually streaming it. Uh. So yeah, number one, saying they, can, everybody's saying they can, can only hear you and I, Tim. So, so currently, I have the application beta up, streaming through OBS, which feeds through Streamyard. And I have Tim in the shop selected as the audio feed for that application beta. So you should be able to hear Discord in the stream on YouTube. No, they're not. The only people they're hearing are you and I. Yeah, I don't know why then. I'm not and I, mean, I don't know what I don't know what else to do. While I'm at it, uh, Sarah Ann says probably a strange question, but that Tim might know where I can get some double cap rivets that's from sarah and creations a double cap rivet i'm not even sure what that is but rivets are probably at lowe's lowe's or home depot true value hardware that kind of stuff Hopefully that'll help. Somebody's watching Star Star Wars, Star Trek. No, Star, Star Trek. Trek. Yeah. That's me. Nice. The classics original series. I love it. This was deep. This was um. I mean, this was uh, TNG. Ah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Been a long time since I watched TNG or Deep Space Nine. Yeah. Deep Space Nine is up next. Yeah. But um, uh, it's called uh, H&I, Heroes and Icons. They have Star Trek from 8 o'clock until 12 o'clock is the last one. Yeah. From 8 p.m. through midnight. We'll make more. We have the recipe for chocolate chip cookies, so we will make more. And for, the, for those of you that are not hearing Discord, uh, Carrie's going through a few of the pens that are remaining, like uh, Eastern a pen, Majesty Magic. What was the other one? Breakfast at Tiffany's, Everest. Pegasus is sold out, but they can make more. But you all knew that. Yeah, there's gonna be there's gonna be pre-orders put in. She's gonna put in a, a number of them, just so that they know how many blanks to make, how many 
uh, molds to make so they can make the cuts to make more. So there may be a delay in delivery. It's not going to be like it usually is. <laughs> well, it's a leopard leatherworks blank. You don't have to worry about waiting. You just know you're going to love it anyway, so... that So just so you know, Karen, nobody, nobody on YouTube can hear you. And I am not going to try and decipher all of that. No. What Carrie was saying is if you see a pen you like, buy it, we'll make it. <laughs> yeah, as long as we, as long as we made the blank, then you're good to go. We have the recipe. This this is pretty cool. Yeah. We'll still be here. God willing, I don't have a heart attack. So we'll be all right. Now, like she said, Wanda, even if the pen sold out, they know what the they know what the recipe is to make the blank. It may not come out exactly the same, but it'll still be it'll still have all the same colors in it, and you'll still have the same pen. Hell, some of the pens, some of the pens of the same batch come out different. You know, Care, if you're going to talk that much, I think we just need to send you a screen yard invitation. That way everybody can hear you everywhere. <laughs> Because 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 none of us will be able to repeat all of that for all the YouTubers to hear. But to, to long para, story short, to paraphrase, to paraphrase, they have the they have the recipes for the ones that they make and for the ones that they don't make to come from other creators. They can always ask them to remake the blank. There's the para there the there's the paraphrase of the last five minutes speech. Okay. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> That's what I yeah, call it. Yeah, it was very accurate. 
but it was accurate. <laughs> What'd you get me, Care? Can't even get surprised. Are you going to unlock my ball and chain at the end of the night? <laughs> I ain't saying a word. This is Why very you interesting. Always have point. my camera off. It's got all this sort of color mixture on this side. And then as it goes to the back, it sort of threads out or becomes sort of lacy. And it still looks like wood on that one side. It does look like wood, doesn't it? Looks like burls. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's cool. Uh-huh. Is it tore up like they're redoing it or tore up like it's full of potholes or something? Just tell, so you can call. You can. Eventually with the side comments, you'll get your answer. Just, just a minute. The number one way is to call 1-800-WALMART, but I doubt much will change because they're usually going to relay it to the store or the market, but it will be relayed and they'll have to answer for it. And sometimes the answer is this store is scheduled to remodel in six months, all the things will be done, blah, blah, blah. You know, pat, pat answers kind of thing. You can talk to the store manager because the store manager has the wherewithal to request repairs. I know there was never a crack in my parking lot. So, and if I saw a light out, I just put in a request and boom, they come out and fix it. So the system is there to provide a good shopping experience. It just depends on what's going on with the management. That's all. It's in the, it's it. No, it's in the budget. I mean, literally, it's in the budget to fix things, to repair things, to, you know, maintain the store in a safe and good manner. So, yeah, it's. Uh... She can't hear you. She can't hear you. So, Grinchville, Carrie will pretty soon post your winning in a listing that's specifically for you. No? Okay, so what do you want to do then? Oh, Grinchville, Carrie sent you an email with instructions. There you go. She couldn't hear you. You betcha. So, Grinchville, please check the email. Are you turning, Tim? Yeah. All right. You want to um, change your camera? I'm actually just square or rounding up, but yeah, I, I need to need to swap. This is whose is this? Alyssa. Alyssa, who? Yeah, which one? <laughs> three of them. There's like three yeah. Alyssas and two Elysses, I believe. Yeah. And I, for one, can't keep them all. Which size is the hand? Wait. Gotta get you the <sighs> oh, I can't even turn this because there's no finger hold measurement on there. Well, at least you made it round. <laughs> yeah, we got half of it done. 
Let's so stop. At least you got a head start, start on it. Yeah. And tell Kelly, you can tell uh, Carrie that Pauline said she just paid for her listing. Okay. There's no measurement on this one. Yes, I, I wanted to explain to you. No. Not eating ice cream, I'll tell you. Okay, five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. I've heard of that, but I don't have any. I mean, I don't eat ice cream much anymore. I can't eat ice cream anymore. Occasionally. Occasionally, I take a bite or two, but oh, yeah, I know me either. Remember Heavenly Hash? Yep, I remember that. I used to love. I I used to love one that was made by Baskin Robbins. It was called Nutty Coconut. It is absolutely fantastic. Nope. Nope. You lo you lost me at yogurt. <laughs> well, there's no actual yogurt in it. I wish they would bring Adam's gum back. Remember that sour gum? Yeah, I do remember that. Okay, so fire and ice is going to be rounded. That's like they had a licorice gum. I can't think of the name of it. But it was Beach, really good. Beacons, beaches. Be beaches, beacons. Be beacons. Blackjack, yeah, that's it. Sorry. There you go. Yeah. Yep. All right. So let's see. Fire and ice rounded 0.46. Okay. Fire and some ice rounded 0.46. I'm going to make it round first. Let's see. Let's see. Make sure I got this right because there's two different. Mustache design, fire and ice, rounded 0.46. Okay, let's get this rounded down. And this is very good. Yep, mustache on fire and ice, actually. Pauline wants to know who's Penn. This is Karen. K A R Y. This is almost spelled like Carrie's C A R Y. Thank you. 
Rounded, rounded point four six. Got said five times that box. I'm so used to baseball. It has become very popular amongst the crowd, that is for sure. Yeah, well, that's like I said the other day when you were turning so many round pointies. I'm like, wow. <laughs> because you yeah, were doing like different. Be, be, yeah, because we were doing, well, we were doing, you were doing so many um, baseball bats. And it's like all of a sudden somebody came up with a round pointy, and I'm like, what? Yeah, that's that's not a ten pen. <laughs> I think real hard when I'm doing it. I just do it by habit. Little more. Thank you, baby. Appreciate it. Ah. We should be down there where we need to be. Point four eight, and the finishing will take it right down here. Mountain Dew, the elixir of the gods. I thought that was the. Uh... Yep. Uh, let's see here. Thank you, Brenda. Oh, I do appreciate that, as does Lenore. Oh, crap. What'd you do? Oh, I started doing baseball bats. Luckily, I stopped myself just in time. Yeah, just in one. I don't know. I don't know if you heard. I don't know if you heard me or not, Brenda. But thank you very much. I, both myself and Lenore, appreciate that. She had said that she's been wanting to tell me that she was overjoyed to hear that Lenore's tests came back fine. Praise God. No question. No question. Dodge that bullet, as they say. But, um, yeah, it is appreciated. And it's also, quite frankly, um, quite the surprise that people that really, other than the lives and whatnot, uh, don't really know us. And yet we get so much support from everybody in the community. No matter whose channel I go on, no matter, you know, what's going on, you know, we get to say, we get this, this kind of support, you know, and it's kind of overwhelming at times to a degree and it's, but it's really appreciated. I think it's human nature. Nobody wants to see anybody suffer, even if they remotely know them. <laughs> I bet you your frequent flyer miles are too fruit. Yeah, let's I mean, you know, it's pretty pretty good when you can travel all over the world and never leave your recliner. Well, that's like on um Mondays when I go from here to to uh, Kara's live, I travel from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, all the way to Texas. Yeah, you know, 
by the click of a button. But I do want to make sure that everybody knows, even though I may not look it, I may not sound it, that everybody knows just how appreciative we are of the thoughts and the prayers and the different ideas on, you know, different aspects, some of which we're still thinking about. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to accept help. <laughs> you know why would you dump your tray well dang stop leaning so so Lee I got this friend he's out in Utah former business assistant this guy, a little rough around the edges. smart, successful. Can you hear me now? I can a little bit, yeah. I'll wait. I'll wait. Yes, Sarah Ann, I understand that very, very well. She said she never asked for help to flaw. Can you hear me now? Yep. Got you now. Okay. So I got this fella friend out in Utah. Super good guy. Super smart. Super successful. You know, money has never been an issue. He's always put out a way to generate a bunch of it for him and his family. And he was going to move one time. And he was going to. Usually, he's the guy that goes and helps other people at church move. You know, when they're moving, they're like, hey, changing apartments, changing houses within the, the area. Then a bunch of people show up, help load the truck, and move. And he goes, yeah, I have a problem asking them. And I said, you know, you're out there blessing other people with your time, and you're probably receiving a lot of good feelings from that. I said, could you imagine if you allowed people to help you? I said, don't rob them of their blessings. Let them let them have their blessing of helping you. He goes, yeah. He says, that's a good point. That's a good point. And then he, he led everybody over. And I said, you know, I said, you, you're a good guy. I said, buy them all pizza. I said, you can afford it. They'll appreciate it. Tell them to bring their families and kids. So. 37 people helped the show and he bought, you know, 400 bucks worth of pizza from Domino's and had it delivered and the wife served stuff and everybody really had a good time, moved him, loaded him up in about two hours and they just sat around and fellowship and shot the breeze and had a, almost like a impromptu picnic. And he goes, you're right. You're right. That was, that was worth every penny effort. And Quite frankly, I'm the guy that never needs help because I can afford to buy all the help that I need. I go, yeah, I get that. Oh, no, I think about it that way quite often. And then I turn around and say, yeah, their yep. time is better. Yeah. Their time is better for serve somebody who needs it more than I do. You so know? what's interesting is how dare you decide what the value of somebody else's time is and the direction it goes in right that's that's their choice they may want to help you they may want to help somebody else you never know connie yeah he doesn't at the moment but he is considering he is considering what to do with it she's asking if you take the shavings and add them to blanks <laughs> um, yeah if, if i had time yeah, and, if I had um, time to add them. And uh, let's see, what was it? Tim, was I mistaken or did you post that April 8th was your birthday? April 8th is not my birthday, but I do that all the time because, in fact, you know what's funny is Facebook, first, first point of entry into identity theft is your name and your birthday, full name and birthday. 
So that's why you see all these things running about Facebook about what you've done, when you're born, what year, blah, blah, blah. And they coagulate it all together into here's who you are. And then they attempt to steal your identity. So back, oh, probably 10, 11 years ago, I would change my birthday on Facebook about every six or eight weeks. And now Facebook won't let me change my birthday except that I can choose one of the birthdays that were the last five or six that I had. And um, they won't let me. So, and th none of those are my birthday. So it's always a joke that, you know, in September 29th or something, I get everybody's wishing me happy birthday. And my brothers and sisters are like, this ain't your birthday. I go, yeah, I'm stuck with this one now. <laughs> so April and, is not my birthday. What's up? Hello. Uh, Hello, Nikki, and welcome to the to Discord and Ooh, to the voice fire. channel. Look at the clear in that. That is cool. Yeah, we have a new Discord. We have a new Discord member, Nikki, N-I-K-K-I. Welcome, Nikki. What you got, baby? I need a caliper. You need a what? A caliper right here. Right here. Okay, let me switch the cameras here. Shoot the breeze. Welcome in, Nikki. Right there. No, actually, she just went into the bedroom. <laughs> You're not going to die, Carrie. It's not going to jump out and bite you. He wants to come in and get my cow because the buffer's running. Not gonna jump out. Gonna be good boy. No, Sarah, none of it. That is the one thing I have stopped doing. I am not a burden. I'm not saying I'm a burden anymore, and I used to think that. None of us are a burden. That is true. None of us are a burden. I'm just a stubborn family member that keeps going, no, I don't need it. <laughs> you know? When it actually means I do, huh? Well, what are you doing making fists at me? Oh, thumbs at me. Okay, I thought you were making fists at me. Now, one of, uh, Cassie turned around and says, I bet you she's over there smiling and saying, yay, I got backup now. Well, that's true, too, she says. <laughs> oh, shut up to both of you. Sheesh. Don't you talk to my friends like that. Check her out. Don't you talk to my friends like that. All right, here is the fire and the ice. Nice. This got some pretty cool stuff happening right here. I didn't normally see on the outside of the blank. Well, I keep telling you, you never, you, you don't bother looking at the outside of the blank. Thank you, ma'am. No, what measurement is that? Point five three. Okay. Oh, the avatar pen. Okay. What? Okay. I I I will take I will take your word for that. Yes. A little nerd code. Back on. These are too fat. Well, she's not talking about the movie. This fit good. Oh, she. Oh, so we'll do that offline so I don't get lost. Okay, but you can't. We'll do that offline so I don't get lost. I'll just continue on these, then we'll fix that when we're done. It won't take very long. Well, Carrie and I are talking about. I got. I got a couple of pens to thin down, and when I'm in the motion of production, I don't want to do those. 
because then I do the wrong thing because I'm in a different mode. I'm not in a repair mode. Your headspace is in create mode, not repair mode. Right. So we'll... Do you want any of my What's that? Do you want any of my cake or no? No, I don't need any carbs. So here's the fire and ice. Now I got to do baseball bat 0.46 must. Oh, mustache again. That's right. Easter independent mustache. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Keep talking. Sorry. Yes, he is. Tim, you gotta you gotta change the camera. All I'm doing is uh, rounding. Yeah, well, I'm excited. You know. Yeah, I know. That's exciting. The problem the problem is is if we don't tell you now, you'll you'll turn around, and keep going, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, why didn't somebody tell me I changed I didn't change the camera? Yeah, that's true. I don't disagree with you at all. So it's better to tell you, even if you're only rounding. Be coming so, around the mountain. Yeah, really. Uh, bless you. Thank you. Oh, I didn't hit the microphone in time. I take it. Well, you hit it right at the beginning. You didn't hear the most. Oh, that one hurt. Okay, baseball bat, 0.46. Gotcha. Baseball bat. Yeah, just keep saying that in your head. Baseball bat, baseball bat, baseball bat. So. Other than baseball bat, yeah. I, I I absolutely love that end. And the funny thing is, is I didn't even think about it. You know, the other day when I was filming, you know, on Monday when I was filming my whipping chat, I'm going, I suddenly looked down at my pen, I'm going, hey, <laughs> that's actually kind of neat. Because it just caught, my fingers caught at the end of the baseball bat. Cause my fingers kept sliding down. And it wouldn't go any further down. And I'm like, cool. Here's the box. It's called gluing it to your hands. Glue it to your hands. Or Velcro. We'll get a Velcro pen. Yeah. Now, here's an interesting thing. Diamond Art Club has come out with a screw-in tip. I bought one, too. I told Carrie I said, get one. So she bought the collection and a pen of theirs. Because, you know, Catherine and I have been going back and forth about doing the research to figure this thing out and be able to make them here if not the other ones. And I want to be able to measure the thread pitch 
And if it's the same thing as the captain I was talking about, then what I need to find are inserts or how to thread tap the end of a pen so that you can put that in without using a lathe because I don't have to a metal lathe. Huh? Oh, I agree, Caroline. I agree. But but it requires uh -huh. fatter okay. fatter end of the pen. Dude, you, I don't think you can do a 0.46 pen like I'm doing right now with one of those inserts unless I back that off. Probably, you know, I probably got to back it off and start that from there. So you'd make a real fat baseball bat end. And then your finger grip would be back in this area here if you watch on screen. But anyway, we'll figure it out. You just got to get one in, measure the thread bit, buy the insert. And, you know, it'd be no different than doing a, um, what do you call it? Um, bottle stopper. Because on a bottle stopper, here, I'll show you this one here. Oh, Rich reminds me. Stopper, you'll see on screen, I put an insert into the bottom of the bottle stopper. And that's what holds the bottle stopper, actual stainless steel piece, onto the actual blank. So, so we got to figure out how to do that to a pen. And it's got to it's going to be pretty small. So the end of the pen is so freaking fat. Or you back off the handle. So we'll figure it out. It'll take a little bit. We'll get it in, find the inserts, drill one, glue it in. I mean, the problem is that becomes a hundred dollar pen because of the inserts, the labor, and you know, all that kind of junk. I'm not sure that there's a you know, monstrous market when you can put up with washi tape, Teflon tape, hot glue, you know, regular diamond paint. Kind of but we'll figure it out. We'll know whether it's not commercially viable. Okay, mustache. Uh huh. But are they not diamond painters and they don't like it, or what's the reason they don't use it? <laughs> gotcha. Is it the pen, finger hold, or what? Might be a cool idea that just doesn't take off. You don't know, you know. We'll figure it out. I mean, I've already bought inserts, I bought threads, binders, all that kind of stuff. So hey, Tim. Man, I forgot what it is. What's up? Um, what might be a problem? I don't know. Is I just went to go into Leopard LW to take a look at the store. Uh -huh. And I'm getting an EERO secure. It says the site you are trying to visit is not secure. Hackers compromise your safety by stealing dangerous programs onto your device, allowing them to steal your personal information. Chet, would you do it? Would you do? Would you, Cassie, please, and see if you're getting the same thing? Thank you. That would be a, be a shock idea. Okay, so it, it might be my system, I think, because I was having a problem before it was saying that it, the exact, the site didn't exist. No, because I typed it in by hand. Could be your DNS. 
Pauline said she had an issue from her phone. Yeah. Or Easter. Let me just put a hell of it. No, even even my phone has it blocked. I would think that should be true. I mean that that's the attraction. That's the attraction of the screw and tip is it's so firmly rooted. Right. So why are people hard pressers? Is it a, and, and, yeah, and I just wonder, is it is it a lack of trust in the tools you're using that it's going to do the job you want it to do? Or is your experience with the maybe lower end wax or putty or the tips or... I, I just wonder why why people are hard pressers. I mean, people are hard writers too. Don't know why. Yeah. Gotcha. Right. With the red wax?
The other thing. Ooh. The other, the other, um, the other suggestion that Jenny gave me was to use a uh, toothpick. And I shall be right back. All right. Thank you. So these are Karen's pens, K-A-R-Y-N. Karen, if you watch this later, these are your pens. Both the mustache format. This one's got rounded ends. This one's got baseball bat ends, and they're all .46 finger hole. Pretty cool pens. One's very bright. One's very subtle with nice little pastels in it. All right, I didn't screw up that order. I'm on a roll tonight. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I... I yeah, it's uh, right out there, loud and proud, isn't it? Okay, I'm over at the drill press, so you're not missing anything yet.
Let me put it back on the lathe just so I don't forget. This is going to be a Majesty Magic Pen. It's going to be back. rounded 0.63 bases. Welcome back, Lee. Thank you. There you go. Hole in one. Lower. Okay, what are we doing here? Rounded 0.63 bases. I'm really loving my new uh, knife carpet. He does a great job. Nice and round. I still can't reach it. All right. This is going to be rounded. 0. 0.63. Let's get some rounding going here. So anyway, the thing that we have put to the giddy up around here, and you might say added to you who purchased it, I really don't have any idea how to use it, but I've watched a lot of videos. Can you guys hear me? Or am I talk with yeah. You? Okay. So the thing that we purchased was a 3D resin printer. What that means is, is that we're going to be able to print things and do a number of things with them. Either put them in a pen, such as a honeycomb, fish scale, or other cool things that you want to do. And stuff like that. So that honeycomb fish scale thing that they did for the mermaids and magic. Is that what it's called? Mermaids and magic? That was a resin printed 3d print that you now put down into the actual blank and what i like about that is that it is resin sticking to resin it's not plastic sticking to resin absolutely the adhesion is much higher got so skinny here 0.73 so yeah, so we're going to be, I mean, the first thing we got to do is get a place on the fence set up, print out the old little test pond type of thing. It says here it is. So if anybody wants to look up the one we got, it's an Elegoo Saturn 312K. Still in the box. Maybe in the box for another week or so. Set it up. Yeah, I got a little place on the workbench. I'm going to put it. It's just, you know, a matter of time. So minutes in the day. But Harry's got a lot of ideas for cover minders, all that kind of fun stuff. What's up, baby? What did you say? I just, just mentioned now the 3D printer. Oh. Me a favor, grab a uh, order. Grab an order, let me know who it is so I can message them. Right now, it is Carrie Phillips. All right, I'll let you know. 
Carrie wanted me to let her know who I'm turning that way. Okay. 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 By the way, if you haven't already, like, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're just almost at 400, which is pretty exciting. It's pretty wild in my opinion. But uh, when we get to 500, we are going to have a 24 hour stream of turning pens. And that'd be fun. To give an example, I, I, I practiced for it in the last day and a half. I woke up at 12.30 on Thursday, went to bed after Carrie's appointments on today, Friday, at 1, 1.20 or something. So, I could do 24. And right now, I mean, I did get sleep. I went to bed and I woke up five hours later, so I'm good to go for a while. And quite frankly, sleep is just literally a necessary evil. If I could be up 24 hours a day and not need sleep, I'd love it. That's not a reality. Number seven, coming down on it. But 500 YouTube subscribers solid. We'll do a 24 hour live stream turning, turning, mixing, throwing blanks out. Can you imagine how many blanks you could make? How many molds full of blanks you could throw and open in 24 hours? We could probably do five or four throughout the whole day. Maybe even more because I got two pots now, so we can alternate. Okay, those ends look nice. Do a major one on these little balls here. This one down here is 0.67, so that's got little fingers with a 0.68. It's a little bit more to skin down. Won't remove that much in finishing, so I got. Down to about a 0.64. There we go. 0 0.64, 0 0.64 and a half. That's good there. That the sanding and finishing will take it right down to 0 0.6. All right, now we're going to do vases. So we need to find our center piece here. Our center mark. Five and a quarter here in the middle. Our divider. I'm going to line it up so i got two on either side. That's too big. Thing. Anybody out there in YouTube land, if you got questions, throw them out there. Folks in the Discord, if Lee's not here, we'll read them to you. Lee's here, read them. Read them. Lee will read them to you. I'll do my best. That's it. Uh, the Majesty pens are all all have a set design, right? Yeah, they're vases. Yep. So there's the answer to that question. <laughs> Tim, uh, Brenda wanted to know. Yeah. Yes. They all are, actually. And from a selfish standpoint, it helps me produce that. 
have to think less. Bases are in there, we're just coaching them out of there. We started the stream at three ninety nine. Okay. Welcome back. These are a little fatter bases than normal because it's still giving you really sexy. Yeah, Brenda says that she finally was able to order order one of the pens, and she's excited. She she hopes she was able to do the measurement correctly. She did it according to the video. And, and it is correct. Brenda, thank you for your business. for the get to the pen. I hope you now on the live. If not, will pretty much be recorded. Mistakes and all, like they said. Okay. Majesty match. 0.63 rounded edge. Actually, this would be a little bit too, too proud of a rounded end here. Perfect. Doesn't take much, literally half a thousand all of a sudden. Lower off. So, Lee, how many subscribers are we up to on the old YouTubes? Uh, let's see. Just one second. 399. Woo, that's where we were when we started. Everybody like it. Everybody subscribe it. Everybody share. Thumbs up. Do all that stuff. I don't know if any of that helps. <laughs> they say it does, but I'm not sure at what level it helps.
Lens still clear? Looks it. Oh, good. Hello. Hello. I don't know. Anybody new here? Not that I saw. Anybody want to pretend that they're new? <laughs> Yeah. Hey, what are you? That's right. Yeah. You snuck in. <laughs> You are right, <laughs> Melanie. You did sneak in. I said, you're right. You did sneak in. Because then again, I had to step away for a minute. So it's quite possible you snuck in when I was away. We usually hear the ding. And you know, if you found out about If you found out about us in November, at that point, we were only about 10 or 11 months old. So we were still very new. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yep. It's amazing how Yeah. It's amazing how many people you get from particular lives, whether it be from Carries or Sher uh, or uh, Shays or whoever. Yeah. Yep. One at a time, here and there, all of a sudden, you got a crowd. I don't, I know. don't remember how I ended up here either. Well, I think what it was, I think what it was, was because of the fact that I like watching like wood turners and, and different things like that. And I think I saw this on one of my suggestions, you know, one of those suggested site deals. Seriously, a and random I, find? And I think that's how I found it. You did it again, Tim. what I do? You're in small view. Huh? See, now in in YouTube, he's up in the upper left-hand corner, but in StreamYard, you're fine. There it is. Weird. So together you're twenty one hundred and thirty. Well, the difference the difference is <laughs> you add them up. I would have been just fine had I looked at my YouTube because my YouTube was not on live. 
So it was back when he actually originally oh. had it on small on small view. Yeah. Hello, Vanessa Hints. There's a new name. <clears throat> Hello, Vanessa. So there it is, Majesty Magic. Welcome to YouTube. Now, for now, for those of you that are new and that have not been here before, there is a Discord link at the top of the YouTube chat. Click on that, you'll get into YouTube. And then you hit Tim in the shop, and that'll give you the Discord live. Um, so you can hear all of us talking. Which can be rather interesting at times. Yes, and it is being streamed. The YouTube is being streamed within Discord as well, so. Um, yeah, but um, so feel free to join us in either case. Also, because I'm sure you've been here for a while lurking and working and doing all your other things, please, please hit the like button because we know you like it because you're still here. And hit the subscribe button with the all notifications because that way there you'll know every time he posts with uh, a live, which is almost every weekend for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, sometimes Monday. Um, and then the occasional pop-up plus the fact that plus plus the fact that um, Carrie will now be doing lives on Wednesdays at least at the very least doing her pen drops and her blank drops which allows you a chance to be able to buy one of the blanks or pens that she has on that particular drop Right, that's that's the drop that I was talking about, Vanessa, just now. Is that um, that particular live? But we also do it in di that in Discord too. Yep, just give her the color wave. And have five other people to like it. They're talking. Ah. Uh, like a blank, like a blank she bought or something. Here we go. Majesty Magic, all buffed up. Uh, Rich and Mama B Diamond, Diamond Drilling, welcome into Discord. Aha, uh -huh. it's M B M B squared or Rich B squared. Rich is already in Rich is already in the voice. Uh Mama, all you have to do is click on the Tim in the shop and that'll put you into the voice channel. By the way, that was Carrie's pen, K E R R I E. Yeah, and Vanessa really said I was watching the live the other day when you guys were auctioning off, selling the pens. I'm new to diamond painting and just thought I would pop on to see how pens are made. We're glad you're here. We are glad you're here. One of the things I will tell you, I will tell the same thing to everybody that's new. You want to change cameras, Tim? Yeah, I'm just over drilling. Oh, you're drilling. I wasn't listening properly to the machine sounds. I usually know them. Anyway, um, yeah, and so did Tony. Scorpio Mom also cut it from Wednesday's pen drop, cut us here. Uh, but as I, as I was about to say, when you watch what Tim's doing right now, he's putting bushings into the end of the blank so he can put them on that lathe. When you look at the blank that he's putting in, such as he's doing right now, Take, go ahead and take a good look at the blank, but the pen's not going to look the same. Every time he turns it, there's more colors and different colors and different styles inside the blank that you're looking at right now. Um, 
it will still have those colors in it, but it'll have more. And when I say more, it's about 150 times better than what the blank looks like. And then when you buy the blank, when you buy the pen and you look at it in person, it's 10 times more better than what you saw on camera. So prepare yourself, and if you ever buy a pen and you and you go to open it up from Leopard Leatherworks, make sure you sit down. Anybody that's here will tell you the same thing. It will blow your socks off. Well, sounds like you're doing pretty good. So just the first turning, square made round, check that out. Totally different already. Rich, you're sounding a little bit low, so I don't know if your microphone's up or what's going on. I don't know if you okay. can turn your microphone up or not, but either way, that's the best way to get through. Yes, welcome yeah. to Discord indeed. Uh, or as I like to put it, welcome to the nut house. Or if it was Carrie being, Carrie would say welcome to the Nutella house, but you know. Nutella house. Okay, 0. 0.71 baseball bat. 0.71? Oh, that's chunky. What he's talking about when he says, for those that are new, what he's talking about when he says 0.71 is, is the finger hold on the end that he's using right, that he's looking at right now. You will see him doing just this, is going ahead with a micrometer and actually measuring it out with a micrometer as to how deep he has to cut in to make a perfect pen hold for the individual. Because they have um, tutorials to be able to tell you how to measure for your right finger hold for the pens. If by chance this is your first time, you know, if you decide to order one and it's your first time and you don't know how to do the measurements, you follow that, you follow that advice. <clears throat> if you're still not sure, guesstimate a little large because it's easier for them to you know you return it to them it's easier for them to cut it down because you cannot add you can always take away but you cannot add I didn't get a chance to finish my spiel. <laughs> no, I hate Nutella. I've tried it. I don't like it. No. Uh, nope, she doesn't either. Don't mind me though, I'm still trying to get into the website because it's something I'm trying to I'm trying to look at in the store. But yeah, but yeah, oh go ahead, sorry. Yeah. 
That sounds like a point six three. Sounds like a point six three. Hello, diamond painting accountant Alyssa. Hey, Alyssa. What? What did you say, Tim? I said hello, Alyssa. Oh, okay. Well, I couldn't hear you, so. Everybody was, everybody saying that the uh, the pen drop Wednesday was actually kind of fun. So remember, Carrie, Carrie, nobody on YouTube can hear you. So yes, every Wednesday there will be a pen drop. You just come you come into the you come into here, it'll come out just like always. And just like it does here, you'll you'll be able to see it either in Discord or in YouTube. You'll see the notification. Plus she I believe she does it in she sends out a notification in Facebook. All pen drops, however, all blank drops, and when you go to vote on it, when you get the rules, you go to vote on it, you'll um, vote on it in YouTube, not in Discord. Because it's Carrie, Carrie. There is an invite in Messenger for stream for you. That, that way, people on YouTube and Discord. Just click on it. It's probably open in Chrome. Yeah, probably. <laughs> No, he was saying he kept trying to do things on the pen drop, but he kept losing to Berta. <laughs> oh. That's a fun one. So who is the male voice speaking that's not mine or Lee's? That's Rich. Hey, Rich. Welcome in, Rich.
it's amazing to see you know to go into discord and to see all the names in discord that you know i, I we we used to have what five or six open in safari yeah you know? copy the link go to safari now we have 13. yeah it's carrie me safari right back there No. Paste. There you go. Click on it. Brenda, what are you on? What are you on, hun? Are you on laptop, tablet, phone? With your Discord. And whoever has Wait, their YouTube up, whoever has their YouTube volume turned up. It's oh, okay. It's I wasn't sure if it was somebody else that was new in here. Okay, Carrie's on the stage now. Carrie, turn your Discord off. Okay, Carrie's on stage now. When she's talking, everybody will hear. All right. If you look from Discord, if you click on the link up above and you join the thing which you already have because I waved to you already, on your left hand side you'll see you should see you know you should be already in Tim's channel and you should see one if you scroll down a little bit, Tim in the shop. If you click on Tim in the shop, you will actually be in the voice channel. How many what, Tammy? How many what, Tammy? Pegasus. Many as we need. Come on, Tammy. You know if they need more, they make them. There's 10 in there for pre-orders. So there's plenty. Yep. There's 10 in there now. Three sold out tonight, but there's 10 in there. For pre-order, and we'll remake it. We're gonna remake a double batch for that reason. Tammy, Tammy, you're talking. O you're talking over. Uh, Carrie, hold on a minute. T t okay, Tammy. Sorry. Right. Um, can you? Can everybody hear me in YouTube? We on stream yards. They can hear you in YouTube. Okay. Well. So Tammy, we have they we're sold out. We only made one batch of five. One was the model for me to take pictures and show people what it will look like turned. And then the other four have sold. One yesterday and three today. So I have added more inventory and we will remake a double batch of Poseidon's Pegasus. Which is pe for so Pegasus. The is, can people in Discord hear Carrie if their YouTube is muted? The the problem is, is you told Carrie to mute the Discord. What she should have done was muted the YouTube and kept Discord running. Yeah, I don't think she had the YouTube on. So Carrie, you probably need to join Discord and StreamYard at the same time. I am. In both. I, I think am. The Discord's off. Nobody can hear you. Discord. My Discord is on. You have your mic muted in Discord. Oh, I, hold on a second. No, it's not it's muted. It's not your fault, not, it's There you go. Okay, so okay. now what do I do? Now you're, now you're in everything. You're in StreamYard, so everybody on YouTube can hear you. And you're in Discord, so everybody in Discord can hear you. Now, do I turn the volume down in Discord? or? Nope, just talk nope. away. Just talk. Okay, all right. This is a new thing for me. Sorry about that. So, Tammy, I have plenty in there. If you want to go purchase one, I we will re, we're going to remake it. And anyone else who is in YouTube, if you are interested in the Poseidon's Pegasus, which is made in um, to coordinate with Pegasus Constellation by Dakota, if you're doing it for the Dakota Thon or you just love the blank, you can still purchase it. We are just remaking it. So, as soon as it's remade, then you will, your order will be placed in the shop to be turned by Tim. So 
that is there. So I added 10 more to the inventory. And if those You're 10 welcome. sell out and we get ahead, we will make some more. I mean, you know what we did with Shea by the Sea? We sold 39. So, <laughs> so, yeah, I don't have any more of those right now, but I can remake that one too if needed. So you just. But just gonna have to wait if I can make it. I don't have any more. I don't. Okay. Now. Sorry, September is the month. <laughs> nah. Now, just just an additional just an additional instruction, uh, Mama B. On the bottom of that list, same list that you see all our names on, you'll see a microphone. If you click on that microphone, it'll unmute your microphone. If you click it again and turn it red, it mutes your microphone. So that way there, if you do want to talk, that's how you actually turn the microphone on so you can speak. Are you talking to me? No, I was talking to Mama B. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm giving instruction to those that are new to, into Discord because we just gained th like three or four new people in Discord. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube page. We're trying to get to 500 so we can have a 24-hour streaming turning marathon. Yeah. Hey. And if you're By the new way, and if you're new and you have not ordered and you are here, this is where you can watch your pen be turned. And sometimes we're making a new batch and you buy a pen from that batch. You'll watch the pouring, the and we'll cook and we'll it will pressurize for four hours. Sometimes we're live when we un untake it out and see it all cut into blanks and then your blank goes into the turning box to be turned and then when it's your turn I will message you either on Facebook if you have that if not I will like try and email you when your order comes up or pretty close to it so you can watch the whole process and the next thing we have just starting to add because I have a shipping station in the shop now we will do, I will pack up your order so you can see like the whole process on how your order moves through our shop. Live shipping. Now that's sexy. The, isn't that sexy? Woo. I'm telling now, you. Vanessa, no, Vanessa, and I answer your question, you do not need to have a diamond painting to go with it. You can no. order a pen of any type, of any style that you wish. Uh, if it's an event pen, it'll um, it, it'll have its own turn, its own specific turn. But other than that, you can order whatever you want. If you want one to go with a particular diamond painting you have, 10 to 1 they have it. If not, they can work with you on different things, different levels of that. <laughs> no, they're easy. They're very accessible. They're easy to talk to, and they will give you any information you want. Yes, yeah. and we do surprise drawings. Just we're leopards here. Leopards have the spot. They change their spots, and we change our minds, and we do surprise things. So you and never Grinchville, Grinchville, all you have to do is talk to Carrie, and she will make sure somehow to get in touch with you to tell you when yours is turned. Yep. I sure will. It's just really fun to watch the whole process go from a square blank to a beautiful diamond painting pen. And what you see on the screen, sometimes I will send you a photo 
and show you up close what your pen looks like. And then mm. you get it, like Lee said, and if any of you weren't here earlier, be sure you're sitting down. And anybody uh, here who has a pen will say that as well. Michelle Michelle TSF says, how do I get Carrie's attention to read my Facebook messages, though? Anxiously awaiting for her to for two days, but but obviously, no, she's super busy. <laughs> so it, no, it's, it's probably not that. It's probably not that. There is a place in Facebook messages that if you've never texted her before, that it's like over there to get permission or something like that. And you don't really see it. So, Carrie, make sure you check all those little I red do dots. do every day. Okay. So I haven't, I don't, let me go over there and see if it's anything there because i look at that yeah. i i'm in because somebody somebody sent me a message one time and it was a month before i saw that little <laughs> hidden who folder. was that Lee? Crap. michelle tam michelle tsf now, now is she wanting to send me drills is that or does she want to order a pen i don't I know she nothing. just said she was just trying to she just said she's tried to, to get a hold of you on. Trying to get a hold of you on Facebook. I have no messages from her. So I don't know where they're going. I've just checked all my chats. So go to go to Facebook and look up Michelle TSF and see if that pops up anywhere. That's not even <laughs> well, no, well, no, we probably want... we we yeah, we don't want that. We probably need to do is get on WhatsApp and have a WhatsApp thing because that's a lot more accessible than Facebook sometimes. Yeah, but it's terrible. Yeah, I do not. I don't know when she sent me a message, but um, I saw a Michelle Tam in comments on Facebook. Is that what she means? So but click on her name and send her a message. That way you're connected. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. And that is that is Michelle. What Michelle Tam, T A M? Yes. yes. Okay. Let me go make a message here. Yeah, we're not ignoring anybody. That's for sure. No, we do not. I check that message request every day, and along with all my other chat groups. And anyone will tell you, I I always communicate. Yeah. I do not, I cannot find a Michelle. Oh, here's, there's two Michelle, there's four Michelle Tam. So I don't know which one you are. So go, go to her comments in the Facebook group that we have. Click okay. on her name and it will say, what do you want to do? Friend her, message her, you know, that kind of thing. Viewer profile, that kind of stuff. Well, I'm in our, hold on. Let me go to our group. Does she obviously, did she post it in the group? Yep. She's probably okay. a member of the group. Well, that's what I'm trying to find out. I imagine. Stop yelling at me there. Stop yelling. Nobody yelling at you. Because anyone will tell you I respond very quickly. Yep. Yeah, I did not get a message from her, and I would have. There you go, Michelle. It's Carrie at leopardlw.com. I just put I just put it in there for you. It's www.carrie at leopardlw.com. No, 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 not www. Oh, it is not w. Hold on. Carrie at leopard. Hang on, Carrie, stop. Carrie at leopardlw.com. So I did type it in right. Okay. www.leopardlw is the website. Were, so I, I think just mix them together, Lee. Okay. So there is messages from Michelle, but I never got them. Never got any of these. Okay, you got them now, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. There you go. She'll hit me. She'll hit you up, Michelle. She found the messages. Yeah, like there's like five of them in here and sent um yesterday yeah. evening. And I never there's got a thing, them. There's a thing about Facebook that if you haven't messaged somebody before, sometimes it goes into this bucket where you have to go accept it and give permission to communicators. So I don't know what the heck that thing is. But, but I never crazy. even got that. Okay, there you go. 
Majesty Magic. Yeah. Baseball ends, point six three and vases. Yes, ma'am. And that is Colleen. Oh. Beautiful. And I'm at point seven one, not point six three. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, is 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 Alyssa, the diamond painting accountant, still on? I don't know. Alyssa, are you still here? I know you were here a minute ago, a couple minutes ago. Yep, she's here. Okay, so now we're going to go into a repair mode and then one creative mode. So this is, so these are, let me switch the camera over to the lathe. And I'm doing this in, in front of her so I get this correct. Alyssa, this is the pen that you like. It's got the correct finger hold size on it and all that kind of stuff. Is that correct? Because these are 0. 0.5. Yes, that's two. correct. Beautiful. These are 0. 0.52. And these are a couple of pens that Alyssa ordered that they need to be reduced because they're 0.63s. So we're going to take these down to what this one is here. So we're doing, this is the perfect example of if you're not sure exactly what you like, order larger, and then we can always take some off. And the mail postage is minimal for getting exactly what you want. So I'm just putting some bushings in right now. So now you get to see your pen repaired or changed. <laughs> yeah. Adjusted. Maybe there's a yeah, right word. That's a better word. So we're going to take these two finger grips down here, down to 0.52. Lower on. So this, this is an existing pen that we can take back in and just simply return. Check that one, see how we're doing. <laughs> I was going to be a smart ass and say, hey, let's say, are you sure while you're at it, you don't want to change us to baseball bat ends? <laughs> and yes, I was just being a smart ass. Smart aleck. Point five four. Narrowing it up. Hey, Lee. Yes. Is Michelle, Michelle, Tam still on YouTube? I mean, YouTube, yeah. That's where I'm at. I think so. Michelle, are you still here? What's that? Point five two. Oh, I found her. Yeah, I Michelle's, found her. Michelle's here. Okay, so... You had asked a question, and this is good for anyone else that wants to know this. If you find any blanks from another cast, from a caster, like all things handcrafted, dank blanks, or cocoon blanks, um, we are authorized with them to send blanks directly from them to us. So it doesn't have to go to you, and then you mail it to us. So the process is, Michelle... Say you find a blank in the drop from Cocoon or from All Things Handcrafted. I usually, from Cocoon, I seem to order more. 
Um, but either one has my address. They know where to send it. So all you say when you're paying is, can you send that to Leopard Leather Works? Or Carrie at Leopard Leather Works. And Bill at All Things Handcrafted and Jesse at Cocoon know, and they just throw it in my order or they just send it to me. So no problem there. And then once I receive it, then you will pay for the shipping service, um, depending if it's a round blank and has materials in it, a square blank. I will go over that with you as to what you need to order. And then you can pay for that service and go in the to be turned tote. Then Tim will turn your order. When your order comes up, we'll let you know. And you can watch it just like you are watching these other blanks be turned. So that is the process. Um, I've accepted your messages, so you should be able to message me on Facebook with no problem if you have any other questions. And I answered one of your questions through the Facebook Messenger, so check that. Beautiful. Yes. Point. Any right. you buy blanks, you can just ask them. In other words, if they don't know, because that happened with Cassie, if they don't know, you faded out. Care, Carrie. You're muting yourself, Carrie. Uh, yeah, she probably dropped her phone down in her lap or something. I'm not muted. No, you probably dropped your phone in your lap or something. Oh, maybe that's what it is. Okay. So, um, I, you can contact if, if you see there's Midwest hybrids. On um, Etsy, um, Cassie, I don't know what that gentleman's name was that you used. He had Jacob Jansen. If you want to type that in the comments, you can um, feel free to. Yeah, but not everybody's on Discord, so it might be. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so you can just search on Etsy if you see it, a blank and you can send me a picture of it and see if we can do it. Um, and then, you know, we, they can send it. I had never, when Cassie sent me, we had never turned his blanks before, but they were wonderful. There's also, oh, what is it called? Michelle said, got it all clear. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. But I'm just and giving ideas. Diamond, Diamond Painting Accountant, Alyssa asks, how do I need to pay for the blank and turning on the pen from Wednesday's live? I'll get Send me the winning billion dollar lottery ticket. Alyssa, I'll message you. So you don't like the billion dollar lottery ticket, right? No. And I Cassie, what were you going to do? Okay. Yep. Yeah. And also, there, uh, Michelle, there's also lots of cocoon blanks I have in my stash that you've probably never seen. So you might like some of those as well. And there's the link. There's the link. I'm, to missing, I'm missing that win win thing. No. <laughs> Just a bigger ball and chain, that's all. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, it does that for sure. Yeah. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> that's what they tell us. Yeah. What's what's the harm? What could it be? It's well, my goodness. It that and it's growing so fast as a hobby. Not only the people in it want all the accessories, but there's more and more people flowing into the hobby all the time. Yeah, hey, we appreciate you guys for it. Hey, Lee, how many people are on YouTube and Discord total? How many do we have? Yeah. Yep. Okay. 
<sighs> I never know where to see. can't see that the screen. 23 is. people on YouTube right now. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, see, I don't have that number. It's because I'm not. It should be in, in StreamYard, Lee. Yeah, I can't see it. All okay. I got is the comments. Oh. And every Wednesday, there will be a Leopard Live. I have lots of inventory, and it will take way too long to sort of put it up on there. It's easier for people to claim it, and multiple blanks go to multiple people. So every and, Wednesday. And I think it's a, it's a better plan that you have a pen drop every other week. Okay. I'll do that. One, one is a whipping chat where you're all just chatting and whipping and having a good time, and then you can do the pen drop. The week after, because if you do another pen drop like you just did this week, I will never catch up. Okay, <laughs> literally, I'll give you a break. Literally, and I catch and I just don't want to make I don't want to make customers mad and have them wait forever. And there's eight in Discord, by the way. Okay, good. There was there thirteen is, in Discord. There is Alyssa's the diamond painting accountant's pen refashioned to her finger hold desire. Yay. Now we'll and and it spit at the camera too. Okay, I'll get that cleaned off and I'll yep. move it over to the buffer here. Um it depends on what time the live is gonna be at, um, Tony, as to whether and it's gonna be once every other week. So it's not going to be once a week. It's going to be the pen drops are going to be once every other week. So it's going to be a whip and chat one week and then a pen drop or blank drop on the second week. Now, I'm not going to say anything, Alyssa, about sitting down because it's already when you get the pen because you've already had the pen. So it's not going to be anything except for a new finger hold for you. So <laughs> Well, you know, you you notice that when when Lenore had her pen and pencil set and Trey, I made sure she was sitting down when she looked at him because she was starting to open them when she was standing. <laughs> Don't do that. You'll drop them. Yeah. We're using, instead of packing peanuts, we're going to use packing caramel. So milky and smooth. Uh, here we go with the caramels again. <laughs> oh, Lenore gets all of ours because you know she got mine too when I had when I got yep. my pen delivered. I see, here you go. Yep. <laughs> Well, I could, I, I can eat them. It's not that I absolutely can't. It's just that I try to save my diabetes, you know? It ain't worth it. Exactly. <coughs> Do you drink sugar-free Mountain Dew? Yep. Okay. Most likely. If not, he, if, not he'd be, if not, he'd be dead by now. I would figure. That's why I'm checking. Yeah, I know. Well, I drink right now. I drink up to four a day. I used to drink two lead, two two liter bottles a day. Oh my gosh! I thought I drink a lot of diet coke. Well, that's like we would. I was talking to my brother's nurse this morning, who was at the house, and we would talk about diabetes and how I take how much insulin I take and whatnot. And I said the, my problem is in the diet department because I love my pasta. So it, she's like, well, how much did you eat? I said, well, it's not how much I eat now. How much I used to eat was a pound a pound at a time. She would cook the entire box. I'd eat the entire box and I'd have pasta two to three times a week. 
It's a what? It's a wonder I don't weigh two tons, you know. My G, my GI doctor. Two told tons me, and what do you get? Yep. Yeah, my GI doctor told me this is what you sh should not eat, and everything that was on that list was things I was eating. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's, I that's the, right. Okay. I do the same thing, and the and the thing is, and I said to him when I first got diagnosed and was told that I had to cut out a lot of the pasta. I says, pasta doesn't have any sugars in it. He says, yeah, but it has carbohydrates, and carbohydrates turn into sugar. I said, oh, great. That's going to kill me with everything because I love my sandwiches. I love my cereals. I love my pasta. <laughs> I said, you might as well just shoot me now. <laughs> yeah, right? That's okay. But I um, he, and he says we have that option. Yeah, pretty much. He said, "No, actually, they said no. All you have to do is just aim the aim the pasta box at yourself. That'll that'll do That's it. it. You know, it'll take care of you." But um, no, no, I learned since then, uh, or I finally taught myself since. I still splurge every now and then, but you know, for, for the most part, I don't, I don't have as much anywhere near as much as I used to. That's good. Yeah, and I only have it maybe once every couple of weeks now. Yeah. It's so all about it, control and moderation. Looks 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 more like one of those little tiny, you know, serving size that you put your fork in and all of a sudden it's all gone, you know? Yeah. <laughs> a fork yeah. full of macaroni. Pretty much. Uh, Tony says the, um, Connie, well, actually, excuse me, Connie first said I need to pay for Wednesday's items also. And then Tony Scorpio Moon says, I want to order breakfast at Tiffany's in the Easter pen, but I'd like to pay for my pen drop wins as well. Yeah. Terry can combine all those. Yeah, but I will be doing some, I did some of them. Um, I had other orders that were shipped from, um, Cocoon blanks that I had to get those orders at you know into the system and have those people know that they they've been waiting a while because we were very very busy and Tim told me to wait to open that box so sure. uh, we've opened that box and plus we had to drop so I'm slowly getting to everyone um, so do not worry I says I if they want to purchase something else that's already there and not miss out on it they can do that, and then they can per then they can purchase whatever they want in the drop, and then I'll just combine the shipping. So I'll ship it together. So so here's the process. You will Carrie will create a listing for your pen drop on Wednesday, and then you can go purchase that and the other things that you want. Put them in the same order, and then pay for them all at once. That way, you get one shipping charge instead of a couple shipping charges. Now, who was it that wanted it? Was it? It was Tony, and who else was asking? Connie. Connie was saying she needs to pay for her Wednesday items also, and then Tony Scorpio Moon said that uh, she needs to pay for everything and wanted to get okay. breakfast to Tiffany's in the Easter pen. Let me pull those, and I'll do them right now. Uh, let's see. Connie. 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 Connie G. Connie G, yeah. Okay. And yeah. as a matter of fact, Connie said, Connie G said, I had never had, I had never had them before now, or n never had them before, and now I'm buying them by the bag. <laughs> Caramels or pens? <laughs> Probably both, yeah. All right, what just came? Across? I think you get more caramels when you buy more stuff. There you go. I think five so far. Five, yeah. No, actually Welcome. six. 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 Welcome, Jen, into Discord, and welcome into the voice channel. Welcome, Jen. There we go. I have those two orders. I'm going to put those. Hello. Green. Those custom listings up, and I will Facebook message them. Or email. Jen, don't be shy. Just jump in when you want, and everybody else will listen. <laughs> yeah, right. Or just lurk, or work and lurk. 
Oh, baby. Oh, did they? <laughs> That's right. The Codathon has them too? No. Ah, oh, gotcha. 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 Who said that? Kara. Kara. Oh, and oh, Kara. The principal painter. Not really. No, we'll make them as we go. Make them. I mean, I did a poll. I did a poll, and there was a big amount of number of people interested in that design. And but answering a poll and paying for it, that's a different ball game. So it's out there. We made it and we decided yeah. that we would make it because of that. So 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 far we have cast five. And now we need to do another casting. So we'll do that. We'll probably do two. Because yes. it'll likely go to about 15. Tony well, said thanks, guys. You bet. You're welcome, Tony. And just to reiterate for anybody that's new, such as Jen, which is a new name to me, at least anyway, welcome into both YouTube and Discord. Feel free to hit the like button, because I'm sure you like it here anyway. So, I mean, why not? And hit the subscribe and the all notification bell so that way there you know every time they're posting something. Shea by the sea for Alyssa resized down to a 0. 0.52. And Tim, you're going to check. Um, Alyssa's asking, she asked me because we're chatting back and forth about her other blank from Wednesday. Um, you're going to turn her Everest, correct? Yeah. Yep. It's coming up next. Yep. And I told her. Um, how I get those to her. So, gotcha. Yep. You, you can even do the other one if you wanted to. Yeah, that was actually a, that was actually for Shea, uh, crafting with Shea, Breed. It was her 700 member pen, not her 700 Six, member, her 67. Six, uh, 6,700 member pen. I missed a number. Yeah. <laughs> um, we, had the, we had the seven. <laughs> that was her 67. That was her 6,700 member pen. That <laughs> she chose She chose the base to. She Tammy, hang on, sister. She chose the base to, but everybody else chose all the other colors. Every now and then, for those of you that are new, when there's a special event, such as when Tim and uh, Kerry get to 500 in in youtube every time there's a uh there was a, a th uh, valentine's pen there was a new year's pen there all kinds of different pens that what he decided to do what tim decided to do one day is said you know what just because i feel like it you guys tell me what colors you want so we all voted on colors we all you know and the and the one with the most votes one to go into the pen. So upwards to, at that point in time, it was upwards to five colors, uh, maybe six, depending, uh, went into the pen. And so far, every pen that had been done by the followers of Tim and Carrie in Leopard Leather Works has actually been some of their bigger sellers. Some of, not Especially, all of them, because uh, the pens that were made for the events have also been very large sellers. Especially Shea by the Sea. Yeah. Shea by the Sea was the big, that's the one that you just saw. And that was Shea's 6,700 member pen. And that one is the biggest seller that they have ever had. Yeah. Today. Nearly 40. Nearly 40 of those, I think. Yeah. And what's going to happen is people are going to start seeing it all over the place again, and they're going to say, you know what? I think I want one of those now. Hey, you don't even have to make a square thing round because you already did it. That's right. <laughs> We're ahead on this one. And now you know the finger hold. Yep, I do. 0.52. 
And this is a handlebar. Yep. Yep. That's the predetermined. Thanks, Angie. See you around. Thank you, Angie. Hey, Angie. Have a great one. Have a great night. See you around. All right, now, Tammy, you were saying something earlier when somebody else was saying something. I don't know what it was you were saying, but I am ready to listen now. Oh, you're fine. You're don't worry about it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> just yelling at me. Nothing important, just yelling at me. That is important. We, we don't want to turn into the bully channel, but a little teasing is fine. Well, we haven't had Catherine here to yell at me, so, I mean, you know. I know. I'm really missing Catherine. I think her sister's in town. Monopoly yeah, his, I think her sister's going to be in town for quite some time. Uh, so, uh, and Vanessa says, where is it that I would, I would go to see the different styles of pens? That hasn't been created yet. Yeah, but if you go to the web to their to their website, um, then you you'll uh, see at least get some idea of the kind of work that they do. I have an idea. Now that you said that, and people are asking, um, I think on one of the, this Wednesday's uh, live, I think we will. Um, I'll show some of the designs that we have done so people can see them and that way they just refer to the video um, and like people can see what kind of styles we do. We have any video of the that you can get and there's three different styles. Harry, 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 Harry. Harry, Half Harry? of what yeah. you're saying is all muffled. Oh. I've got it's like my phone right your shirt yeah, your your microphone is in your shirt or something. No, it's not. Something. I don't know. Open up. You're muffled too. But maybe something's not set up right. No, because sometimes it's absolutely perfect, and other times it's just like it falls into your armpit. Mm, I think so. No. And I'm sure I'm sure it has to sound. But, well, anyway, on the Leopard Live, we will, I will show some of the different styles you can get with some of them and some of the names of them. So if you like a certain style, you can refer to it or send a picture. Um, if you're on Facebook, you can go through the Facebook group and look at some postings that people have gotten pens uh, as well. That's actually a great way to do it, Carrie. Go through the Facebook group and point them out. Make a collage of all the pens, all the people's um, postings for their pens. Yeah, that's a lot of work, especially doing a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah, there's a lot, but I can take. I think. I think you just wander through the Facebook page, share your screen live, and talk about the types of terms. Oh, that's true, too. Super, that's super an idea. Easy. Yep. Super easy. We can do that. Now it's, and now it's recorded forever. Yep. Maybe we'll just make a video that yeah, and way. Then you just, and then you just save the date so that if anybody wants to, you can turn around and um, give them the link for that particular video. Just another, there's three videos now and instructional videos. And, and we may be able to download that one and edit out all the fluff and just go straight for the yeah. straight for the spot. And there's some that we do that aren't on Facebook because the person either isn't on there or doesn't post there either. So 
Uh, but I have some of them in my in our collection, my collection that are the basic ones. So this week's live for Carrie on Wednesday will be Art Styles. Everybody can whip and chat and talk about the styles they like. Or don't like. Okay. 2.52, 0.52, that's all. Uh, Brenda says, Carrie, I'm sorry if I'm asking out of step, but... Do you have any idea when my pen might be turned? Forgive me for bothering. Who's that? That was Brenda, Mama, Mama B. What's her? What's her? Brenda. Brenda, Mama B Diamond Drilling. I don't, I, I mean, I go by first and last name, so I don't know. Brenda. Brenda, I got a Brenda. There's not too many Brendas. Well, what did she order? That might help because I don't have a Brenda. Brenda, Brenda Mama B, when did you order? When and what did you order? <laughs> keep in mind too, while you while you're typing that in, keep in mind that is if she has all your information, she will get a hold of you either <laughs> but via Facebook or email or whatever, and let you know, hey, your pen's coming up. Just as a side note. Good side note. I contacted what? Carrie through email I, and it was majesty. Yeah, majesty. I don't I don't have any Brenda in my order bucket of paid orders. So I don't know if she's going oh. by a different name. What Brenda Palma B. She said she sent me email. We just need to know your order name. Order name or order number. You're not making a big deal out of it, Brenda. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's no big deal. We love it. We just got to get the right answer. What was your... I don't know if you care to share your email. uh, uh, Brenda Conklin. I don't... So do, does she have the email with her order number? It'll be like 1452 or something like that. And if she has that, Carrie can go right to that order number. I don't know if you heard Tim or not, but if you have your order number, if you could pull I that found up. It. Oh, I found it. Up. Never you mind. Go. She found it. You know, from this style right here, Lee, I think I'm going to call this the pregnant watermelon. Yeah, she just ordered on Wednesday. The order isn't in the bucket yet, but I have it. Um, I haven't written this week, so it was only like two days ago. So I haven't written up those orders from Wednesday yet. I mean, I have the blanks pulled, but it's not in there yet. I mean, it's paid. I think it's it's safe to say it's a couple weeks out. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, she just wanted to have wanted an idea of when it might turn and yeah. I would say at least, at least a couple weeks out. But I do have your order, Brenda. Um, I don't know people's name, YouTube names, but yes, I do have it. It the blanks pulled. It's um, on my table to write up. I just haven't written those up. They're all just kind of like the blanks are there pulled. And I just go to my order listing and then I put it in there. So yep, just a couple weeks probably. Unless we get the 500 member YouTube, we might do it in that 24 hour line. <laughs> yeah, tell all your friends. Tell all your friends. You, can you tell he wants to do it? Yeah. Yeah, this, this is why I recommend it, that we don't do yep. another Yeah, Brenda, Brenda says, I realized that. I was just wondering. Uh, I know you are all very busy. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. And it's because of people like you that we are busy. So you have our undivided attention when you need information. Sure. Now, I could. Can... 
Uh-huh. Go ahead, Tammy. Mm-hmm. Just, Which just one? Hey, Tammy, you're good. Just you pay. Yeah, you're fine. You're, you're good. fine. There's ten of them in. There's like nine of them in there. Should be fine. And and like we said, you're going to get one because if we need to make more, we'll make. More. Yeah. So just order it on the tenth. And I'm watching that one because it's announced. Kara announced it, and so a lot of more people will be getting it. So we'll probably be making more. So just whenever you're ready, just say, hey, Carrie, I'm going to order. I need to order one. And if there's not enough, we'll make another batch. It's fine. Just order it. I I add the inventory before we actually make the batches just so I know how many to actually make. So just order it when you're ready. Well. That's yeah. How you do it. Yeah. That's how you when do you it. Get, when you get paid, pay for it. And you're good to go. And you know we'll take care of you. That's fine. Whatever you got to, Tammy. We'll hook you up. Don't worry. You will you will get one. Yeah, it just it's all done on the website. And if you've ever ordered anything through Shop, which is Shopify, and you've got the shop where you're tracking things, they already have all your information. We don't get your payment information. We just get the payment. That's all. Hey. Super, super secure. Yes, ma'am. Super secure. We we never get your we don't we don't have your card, your number, nothing. We just have all the information you fill out. Such as name, address, email address, that kind of stuff. Yes, ma'am. Hap- okay. Now, I've got a bunch of things to cover. Excellent. So if you'll give me a couple of minutes here. It's all uh, yours, baby. Vanessa Hint says, I don't know what you if you're doing anything tonight, but at one point, if you can... I would love to see some bright neon colored pens turned, even in a bunch of different styles. The thing with that, Vanessa, is what he usually does, and he'll correct me if I'm wrong anyway, or Carrie will. Anyway, what they usually do is most of what you're seeing is customer ordered pens, and they try to do them in some semblance of order. It's not a matter of, gee, I think I'll turn these today and then turn those tomorrow or whatever the case may be. Um, so if he has colored pins to turn and they're within somebody's orders, of course, he'll get to them as soon as he can. But it's not a matter of, oh, gee, somebody wants to see me turn some colored pins, so I'm going to ignore these customer ones and get to those. N- not ignore, but you know what I mean. Um, but he, if he has them, which I believe he does, because I think a couple of people had the drops from from Wednesday's drops had a couple of neon pens uh, which may be covered sometime this weekend and if I'm wrong right guys, the money, correct me. and the order is the order number that we get it so you know as you order we do those in that order right okay I forgot about that part um, let's see uh Tony Scorpio Moon says she's here for the 24 hour live. Well, make sure you tell all your friends, send out the invitations to Tim and Carrie's or Leopard Leatherworks YouTube channel, have them subscribe, and that'll get us to, that'll get them to 500 a little bit faster. That's right. Um, Vanessa, uh, she says, Have you ever gone to, have you ever taken your work to a craft show? And made pens there for people to purchase. No. (laughs) We're so new. Literally, I wouldn't even know what craft show to go to. Truly. And Vanessa, again, 
says, let's do it. Let's do a 24 hour live while watching pens get turned and everyone else diamond paints diamond everyone else is diamond painting sounds fun and that's what's going to happen Vanessa as soon as they hit their next goal number of 500 so again get the invitations out there send them you know send them to people and say here watch this you're going to love it and subscribe uh Connie then says where do you purchase your tips from I wear mine out so fast That's sort of a yeah. That that's that's sort of a, a generic question for the whole crowd that's viewing on YouTube and anybody in Discord that wants to throw down and help her out with uh, what they like for tips as well. Because we we have our anecdotal experience, but everybody else has their experience too. Yeah, I'm just going by what I do. So if anyone yeah, so else wants to chime in, please do. I can hear you, Tim. I can't hear Discord now. I'm not sure what happened between now and then, but I can't hear anything. That's basically that's just. I believe that's probably just for for uh, particular pens, Tammy. And there's Alyssa's pens. And Alyssa does say that's gorgeous. Thank you. One that we've done previously, it's a six inch pen and it's got 0.52 rounded ends. And then we refashioned the, I forget what this blank is. What is that? Uh, Majesty Magic. Oh, it's got a little more red in than the other one. Cool. Yeah. So, or purple. So, Majesty Magic refashioned down there, round ends. And then we got Shea by the Sea, which we refashioned the ends there. And it's got the Cheerios with the dome in the middle kind of thing. And then we've got the new Everest pen. It's got, the uh, what do you call baseball bat ends with the handlebar design and the reason it's called the handlebar design is because if you're riding like a bicycle you got this little part in the middle that connects to the tire and these are the handles so i called it the handlebar design weird huh and tony <laughs> says wow that turned out great yep got one more Thank you. but we'll make more if we need hey tim <laughs> you. do you have do you have that drill sergeant pen handy? I the what one? The drill sergeant pen. The limping yeah, leopard. Got it yeah, in there. yeah um, even though I've seen the picture of it, I kind of like to see what it looks like on the camera. Yeah, you bet. The limping leopard will. The unlimping leopard will bring it. The semi limping leopard. The semi limping leopard. The drill sergeant pen. My toe bones have not been used for eight weeks, so they're sort of rusty on the right foot. And let's see, are we still on the buffer? Yeah, so I had this yeah. built. I'm not even sure. Let me see if I can do this here. You have buck separators. 
This is a, uh, a, what do you call it? A shelf or a drawer that I'm going to install over here at the mixing bench. Hang on. I've even got these drawer slides here that we're going to put in. So these are going to attach to the side and they'll slide back and forth. And this is what all the pigment and the mica powders will go in because we've now got too many. So it's yeah. a huge, well, huge drawer. You see, now you're sitting there saying you've got too many. Before you would say you can never have enough. Well, we could never have enough, but we do have too many. <laughs> uh, let's see. Here, babe. Here, babe. So this is Drill Sergeant. Oh, we have three for sale. You didn't tell me that. See, I like how that looks when it spins. Look at that. They're just sort of floating right around in there. And these are the blanks that they came out of. Nice. So that's just playing around, just playing around. So, you know, it looks like a lot because some of these are actually floating on the top of all things. They wouldn't even sink, but there's a whole bunch down inside there that are looking pretty cool. And those so are all drill cool. sergeant. Not even <laughs> listed yet. We just playing around. So it's Harry will get them up there eventually. Ah, Vanessa says, still too much of a newbie to try multi-placing. It's not as difficult as it sounds, Vanessa. You would, I, I would suggest maybe starting with a, maybe a three or four placer and work your way up. Yeah, you just got to practice like anything else. Like, like anything else. Just got to practice. Well, I was a needle artist for a long time, about 35 years, and um, I single place for my first four canvases. And I, so was you guys afraid. are you guys are talking over one another because Carrie can't hear Discord, and whoever was in talking in Discord can't hear Carrie. So, Carrie, you go now, and then we'll go back to the Discord. Okay, so um, I think it was Vanessa that says I'm not I'm so a newbie and don't want to do multi placing. I was a, a needle artist, a counted cross stitch, very similar to how you do a convert cross stitch conversion, where you look at the pattern and you just go a match, and you did one stitch at a time. So when I started diamond painting, I'm like I'm not doing this multi placing thing. It's too hard, and they're not straight, and they're not this, and it's. It's hard to do that. I Like Lee said, start with a three-placer. And um, there's plenty of videos out there where people show you how to multi-place and just watch those. And then just try it and see how it goes with a three-placer. Very easy. Then you go to a four. So I mostly use four and six. I have a 15-placer, but that's a honking big multi-placer. And I just that scares me but i don't do more than six and you can do three placing with a six so just go into it do what you feel comfortable yeah, yeah. That is if you're on youtube you'll hear carrie carrie you probably don't have discord on nobody in discord no she does i was she gonna just, say that i was gonna say that when i had a minute she's not in discord i said that yes. earlier i'm, yeah. I'm not but, in discord. but if you're are you in here now Did you just pop in yeah she just popped yeah in. there she is Go ahead, go ahead and talk. Can Carrie, you hear me now? Can hear you. And can Discord hear me? Nope. Hello? I, I think you're muted. You're muted in Discord. I'm not or muted. Something. Or in something. Discord. No. No, I'm not muted in Discord. Okay. Doesn't really matter. Here. I'm coming. See, look. I'm not I'm muted in Discord. Discord. You can have that. Definitely, Definitely not muted. Yeah. I just kicked her out of Discord. She'll, 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 she'll jump, jump on the, the microphone, microphone there. The microphone there. Now I'm getting up. Now I'm getting up. Because now I'm getting your Okay. Okay. Can everyone hear me? Discord. Everywhere else. Yep. 
Okay. So to answer Vanessa's question, newbie, just want a single place. Do what you feel comfortable. If you enjoy single placing, then do that. If you want to experiment and move and do multi placing, it's not a requirement. It this craft is so versatile. Do what you feel comfortable. If you want a multi a single place, do that. I took me at least a year before I felt like, okay, I think I can do this multi placing thing. I'm going to experiment. I'm going to try, and I got way excited about it. And I started with a three placer like Lee had mentioned, then I went to a four and then I went to, you know, a six. I found the best. Can anybody in Discord here, Carrie? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. And multi-placing, you know, the best ones I for me were the Diamond Art Club ones, but there are other ones out there and they come in the kits as well in plastic. So if you are new and you're still comfortable doing single placing, do that. You know, it's not a race. And some of these uh, creators that are out there have been diamond painting for three, four, five years, way before the craft got big. So, you know, it's, it's, you'll get there and do what you want to do. You and, do you yeah. until you have one of those patterns that has, you know, a, th a thousand million diamonds or drills of color blocking. And then you're like, I think I'm going to learn how to multi place. And that's the pad the canvases I like have a little bit of little bit of confetti and a little bit of color blocking, not a lot of color blocking, but that's a good way to learn how to place. But when you're doing a big section of all one color, then you're like, oh, this is taking forever. And that's when you'll kind of let me try yeah, and experiment. Like, okay, I gotta figure out a way to get this done. I gotta get this moving. And so that's that's what I recommend. Like I said, I was I, stitch or what? Uh what? Uh, um a counted cross stitcher for a long, long time for 35 years. And it was one stitch at a time. So that's what I did with diamond painting. And that's all I knew. I thought that's what you did. And someone said, you should multi-place. No. So you, as, you do. as Alyssa says, there's no wrong way to diamond paint. That's right. Correct. It took me a year and a half to gain the courage to try multi-placing. There you go. Then that's what it took. That's me too. So, long story short, long story short, as Tim says, you do you. When you're ready to multi-place, you will multi-place. Until, until then, enjoy single placing because it's all the same. Yeah. And you know what? There ain't no rules. You do whatever you want. I mean, Tim did a diamond painting on our cruise. He single placed it. Granted, it was a pink gem and very small, but he did single placing. And he actually finished before me. Because <laughs> I fast. He fast. All right, everybody. I think this is the end of this one tonight, because I know for our East Coasters and our fabulous host, Lee and Lenore, I think it's getting near their bedtime. Yeah, it's 1230. Yeah, yeah I, that's see, what I figured. We so, forget sometimes. So we appreciate everybody being here. You're invited back tomorrow. We will be live again. We got to go meet Marion and most likely Carl uh, for hopefully donuts and coffee or hot sandwiches at the place that makes the donuts. They got all those little kind of breakfast sandwiches as well. My treat. Um, we'll have a good time. And I drink, you know. Uh, chocolate milk. I don't drink coffee, but uh, I don't need to stay up any later. But we appreciate everybody being here this evening. We had a good time, got a bunch of pens done, had a bunch of conversation. It was awesome. And uh, like always, uh, we would not be us if it were not for you. So we are nothing without you. We appreciate and you a lot. And uh, I'm going to end the YouTube stream. I'll be in Discord in a, for a second or two longer. Because I can't do everything all at once. And I appreciate everybody being here. Everybody that's here putting up with me as the co-host. Absolutely. You know, it's a lot of fun to be here. I enjoy it a lot. And as far as being a slowpoke painter, Tony, I, I, I can only diamond paint right now for one hour once a week. Hey, Scorpio Moon, where are you at? That's Tony. Tony, where are you at? So she's cool. She's right next door. Are you in Oklahoma? 
I don't know what next door means, but next door to Lee or next door to us. I think she means you guys. Is Arkansas. Arkansas. Oh, Arkansas, that's right. Where, in Where Ar were you in Arkansas? Because we lived in Bentonville for 12 years, and daughter-in-law now lives in Tawny Town and uh, is from Alma and all that good stuff. Conway. Oh. Conway, yeah, down by the main city. Yep, good absolutely. Night, well, if you're ever over here, let us know, and if we're over there, we'll let you know for sure. We love meeting the peeps. Anyway, you guys have a good night. I'm going to end the YouTube channel by throwing our fantastic video out there. And here it goes.